time is to talk about your background, your education, and some of your experiences, and then we'll have a break, and we'll come back with, for another eight-minute segment, and then we'll have another break, and then we'll come back for a 10-minute segment. And so we want you to give us any information that you think is important dealing with the Pearl Cone High School Magnet School Band. Let's start off with you, Mr. Ayers. All right, well, thank you for having us today. Um, yes, like you said, my name is Bruce Ayers. I am actually from Dover, Delaware, where I was born and raised. Um, to a, a, a wonderful home, had a loving mother, a very strong father. Um, and they, they saw at a young age that music was where I was supposed to be. There was a battle there um, trying to get into the music field. Uh, they didn't always support it, but when they saw how much it meant to me, I think that's when the door started opening because they were there to support. Um, I graduated from Dover High School in 2008 where I was a drum major there. Um, and then after high school, I went to Virginia State University mm -hmm. in Petersburg, Virginia, where I became also a drum major, uh, first sophomore drum major in the history of uh, Virginia State University, which is a HBCU. Um, and I think that's where a lot of my foundation started in the music field, uh, particularly in band. I fell in love with it. I knew then and there in college, that's what I was supposed to do for the rest of my life. And so I hope that I am a leading in a way that represents who I am and what music means to me for my students. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, Angela, let's, Tangela, let's uh, talk about your background, education, and some of the things that were important in your life, and then we'll have our first commercial break and then we'll come back. But let's talk about it from that perspective. Yes, sir. Um, as you stated, my name is Tangela Wilcox. I am born and raised from here, Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I started at a very, very young age uh, with majoring, baton twirling, um, all those types of, of things as far as dance. Um, I started, I was, I'm an alumni of Weiss Creek High School where I was a majorette there for four years. But I twirled for Tennessee Twirling Institute for mm, over 14 years. Um, after I graduated from Weiss Creek, I decided that majorating was really something that I was interested in. I loved it, loved to have kids, I loved to dance myself, so therefore, I decided to go back to my alumni and work with those uh, majorettes there. I started at Weiss Creek working with that majorettes. Um, not gonna tell you year, then I might tell you my mm -hmm. age. But mm -hmm. again, it was a long time. I did that for 12 years at Weiss Creek. Then I've been at Pearl Cone for three years now. Um, it's just something that I love to do. I love to mentor. Um, young ladies and help them to develop into grown women. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Ayers, why don't you tell us and give us some information in reference to the band itself. You, I think you, it's called a Pearl Cone Entertainment Magnet School uh -huh. Band. Now, what does all of that mean together? All right, so the Pearl Cone Entertainment Magnet High School Marching Band is the band of tradition. And um, if you know anything about Nashville, more specifically North Nashville, you know the history of it. Uh, the renowned Jefferson Street, um, the Pearl Cone Institute itself, uh, you know that Pearl Cone was Pearl and then there was a school cone and they, when integration happened, they became Pearl Cone. Um, the history behind that school in itself, it, it creates an atmosphere of pride. The Pearl Cone Marching Band is the number one band in Nashville and it has been so for years. And when I say years, I mean 30 plus years. Um, before myself, I've been at Pearl Cone for four years. Uh, Mr. John Severe was the band director before I uh, got there. He created a tradition of excellence. Um, the band has performed on national stages. The band has been televised. The band has won several awards and honors. And we strive today to keep that name going. Um, I am thankful for my kids. They are dedicated, they are passionate, and more importantly, their parents are also a, a great support for me as well. Now, Ms. Wilcox, as a twirler, I think you indicated that uh, you twirl a lot. Yes. Now, how do you uh, prepare your uh, charges? Uh, and I'm assuming that there might be some male twirlers as well as female. How do you prepare the, your charges for doing what you are now professionally doing? Well, we, we did have a male um, da, a majorette before. We have had male majorettes before. Um, we encourage both. If you can dance, you can dance, male or female. We don't discriminate. Um, but my charge is if um, 
if you have that passion and you can dance, then, you know, we welcome you. Okay, so what we're going to do, Ms. Wilcox, we're going to take our first commercial break, and we're going to come back and start with you. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. Okay. Well, let's get the girl. Okay, now we just. Yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah. Watch how I'm going to beat my tongue. What's this thing, Lord? Pearl Cone Entertainment Magnet High School Band. Marching Band. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the Pearl Cone Entertainment Magnet High School Marching Band. And of course we have with us to talk about this extraordinary band, the band director himself, Mr. Bruce Ayers, and with Mr. Bruce Ayers is Ms. Tangela Wilcox. And Mr. Ayers and Ms. Wilcox, let me welcome the two of you to of the show this morning and tell you how delighted we are to have you. Now, let's start off, Mr. Ayers, by giving us some information in reference to your background, your education, and some of the things that were important in terms of leading you to us this morning. And Ms. Wilcox will give us some additional information in reference to her background, education, and experiences. And we're going to try to get out of this segment in six minutes. So you've got about three minutes, and Ms. Wilcox, you'll have about two minutes to talk about yourself during that time. Let's start with right. you, Mr. Ayers. Well, thank you for having us. Um, Yes, a little background about myself. As you know, my name is Bruce Ayers. I am from Dover, Delaware. And I think that's where a lot of my musical background started. Uh, my family has an, an emerged um, experience with music. Uh, I began music at the age of four years old. And I think at that age, my parents really started to invest in that. Uh, I went to Dover High School in Dover, Delaware, where I became a drum major there. And then after that, I attended Virginia State University where I was the first sophomore drum major um, in the history of the university. Um, 
I think there is where, I, again, a lot of my musical experiences and my background started to develop. Um, after graduating from Virginia State University in 2012, I attended Tennessee State University, Aristocratic Bands, um, where I, be, uh, I get my master's degree in music. Um, Tennessee State University has had a tremendous impact on my life as well. Very good. Ms. Wilcox? Yes, hi again. Um, my name is Tangela Wilcox. Um, as you stated, I started baton twirling at the age of four. Um, it was something that I loved, loved to dance, loved to twirl. So my mom felt that she needed to get me into something. So baton twirling was the foundation that was laid. Um, after baton twirling, I decided when I went to high school, I'm an alumni of Weiss Creek High School, and I was a majorette there. So after I graduated, I decided to go back uh, and give back. Um, I love mentoring young ladies and helping them develop into grown women. Mm -hmm. um, I decided to become, well, I was asked to become the majorette coach at Weiss Creek and was there for over 12 years. I've been at Pearl Cone for three years as the majorette coach. Mm -hmm. And it's just something that I love and I have a passion for. You know, Mr. Ayers, I think that uh, most people know of the uh, Pearl Cone uh, Mac entertainment band, a marching band. But uh, what are some of the things that you would like for those people who might not know anything about this band? What would you like to say in reference to that uh, during the last uh, minute and a half that we have here on okay. this segment? Uh, yes, the Pearl Cone uh, Entertainment Magna High School Marching Band, our name is the Band of Tradition. And a lot of times when we think of tradition, we think of things not changing. But um, I think that that name it alludes to something else. It's a band of tradition because of the tradition of excellence that we hold. Um, anyone who knows the Pearl Cone Band knows that you know what you're gonna get. You're gonna get an award-winning performance every time you see the Pearl Cone Marching Band. Very good, and as a matter of fact, that's why we wanted to uh, deal with this particular band this morning because we know of the tradition and we've seen you march and et cetera. And so we know it's a very, very popular band and we know that this will be a popular show. Let's make some statements in reference to this band uh, over the last uh, minute and a half that we have, Ms. Wilcox. This band uh, is a very positive and a very growing band. Uh, we, we have kids that are, uh, like I said, magnet schools, and we also have kids that are feeder that attend the band also. If you are, uh, if you are zoned to Pearl Cone, you are more than welcome to come and be a participant of the band also. Mm -hmm. And so you do a lot of reaching out uh, in a real sense, uh, trying to bring in as many people as you possibly can to this particular band. And so what we're going to do, we're going to take our first commercial break, uh, which will be a uh, two-minute uh, commercial break. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to come by and back and we're going to have you to give us some information over the last next eight minutes dealing with the band, some of the things, some of your successes, some of your aspirations, and some of the things that you'd like to highlight to let people know what you're doing. Because I know quite well what you're doing. I've known about this band for the last 20 years, <laughs> you see. And so uh, when we come back during this second commercial break, uh, well, the, this first commercial break, we will have you to uh, give us that kind of information. And then Ms. Wilcox will give you an opportunity during that next eight minutes to uh, talk about some of the real things that you are, con you are concerned with it. Of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break.
Thank you and welcome back to the second segment of the show for today. We're talking to Bruce Ayers and uh, Miss Tangela Wilcox in reference to Pearl High School Entertainment Pearl Cone High School Entertainment Marching Band. And I know, Ms. Uh, Wilcox, I didn't get all of that straight, <laughs> but, but I think we've said it earlier in, in an earlier show in reference to what you're doing here and et cetera. Talk about uh, some of the things in reference to what some of the young people do under your total guidance in a real sense, and then uh, Mr. Ayers will uh, be able to close us out for this second segment. Yes, sir. Okay, we are Pearl Cone Majorettes. Um, this year I have 19 young ladies. Um, this is the largest that um, I've had since I've been at Pearl Cone. Um, it's, it's very interesting because you know you have several different personalities that you're dealing with. So these young ladies, we not only focus on their dance, and uh, but the main focus is their education. We want to make sure that their education is being met, that their grades are at where they need to be. Uh, before they are able to perform. A lot of times some of the girls may have to sit out uh, due to their grades not being where they need to be. Because like I said, our main focus is their education and dance is second. But um, my ladies, you know, the main thing that I try to focus on is I know, uh, especially my seniors, um, we are preparing them to become college majorettes. So therefore, we want to focus on the, the way that they carry themselves, uh, the way that they um, do interviews. Uh, we want to focus on the way, just the way that they overall look. It's not just about dance. We want to uh, go out and work within the community, uh, teach them how to work, teach them how to fill out a resume, you know, and just build them, uh, build their confidence level. Just help them to mature and become young ladies. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it's not only just about majorette, it's about their whole positive build as a woman. I would imagine you could say the same thing in reference to the band itself, Mr. Stairs. Speak to that. Yes, sir. Um, like uh, Tangela said, we focus on education. You are a student musician, an emphasis on student before musician or dancer. Um, last year, I'm proud to say that we had 100% of our graduating class attend college, and they all are doing very well in their first uh, semester. Um, grades are very important. Education is very important. It doesn't matter how talented you are. Without that education, there's going to be a lot of life blocks that can hinder you from being successful. Um, I check grades. Behavior is also important. Your reputation, not only do you represent yourself, your parents, but you represent this band program that a lot of people have worked to build up to a, a where it is now. So we need for you to behave appropriately um, and we need for your grades to be exceeding the expectation. Um, a lot of our students like I said, they are in college now, and we look forward to our students currently, the, our seniors, to also follow in their footsteps. Um, I don't believe that when you have a high standard for you to backtrack. So if we had a 100% graduation rate last year, I expect for a 100% graduation rate this year. Now, that's well. unusual, isn't it, to uh, graduate all of the students in your band? I mean, all of the band members who are mm -hmm. ready, it's time for them to graduate, and all of them graduated last year. Yes, sir. Uh, it is maybe not unusual, but it is very rare uh, for 100% of your students to graduate, oh, yes. um, especially being from the North Nashville community. There's a lot of trauma. There's a lot of situations that could come up that may hinder a child from being able to reach that level of success. Mm -hmm. But I think because Tangela, she keeps me accountable as well, we have created a program where that is now the culture is to be successful in your education. Speak to that, Ms. Uh, Wilcox. Yes, um, we, we have communication with um, our students' teachers. Um, they, we go, we meet the teachers. We, um, like we, have, we have some students that don't attend Paracon that attend other magnet schools, but they are zoned to Paracon, which is okay for them to, we allow them to participate in the band. So therefore, we have the email. Um, we use email or either sometimes, you know, we just go in if we have some time off, we'll go in and, you know, meet their teachers and just have a relationship with the teachers um, just to make sure that we are keeping those students on the right track. Mm -hmm. You know, because sometimes, you know, they may fall a little bit behind or, but, you know, but we have tutors 
that come in um, that can help with the students that are having difficult with different um, subjects. And we just want to make sure that our kids, you know, not only be great band members, but be a great student, period. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Mr. Ayers, you talk about uh, the band, but uh, the band cannot be there by itself. I think that uh, there's a whole athletic program that uh, the band is associated with. How is Pearl Cone doing this year in terms of the athletics, uh, especially football and et cetera? Oh, um, Pearl Cone has always had a reputation of having a wonderful football program. Um, currently right now, we are on the road to the state championship. Our last regular season game is next week. And so we will beat Wise Creek next week. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so we will go to the state of playoffs. Mm -hmm. And so um, not only are, is the band a part of the athletic department because band is a sport. It's a non-contact sport, but it, the things mm -hmm. that uh, you know qualify a band member to be physically fit, it is considered a sport. And so um, the Pearl Cone Way, which is an athletic department's um, phrase, is that students put school first. And so the football team, along with the basketball team, volleyball team, um, soccer, we all held our students accountable to the mm -hmm. same standards. Mm -hmm. And you found uh, Pearl Cone to be an excellent place for you to uh, demonstrate some, not only your talents, but also to encourage young people, especially young women, Absolutely. to uh, be, be the, the best that they can be. Is that what you were saying, Ms. That Wilcox? is correct. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Um, like I said, I, um, after White's Creek, I thought I was retiring, mm -hmm. um, but then, you know, I have that passion and I love it so much, I wasn't ready to, so therefore, mm -hmm. I came to Pearl and I did Well, now, how long years. did you work at uh, Pearl, I mean, uh, White's Creek? I was at White's Creek for over 12 years. Mm -hmm. And I um, kind of rest for a couple of years and mm -hmm. then I came And so to you've Pearl. been active in, in, in this kind, you've been doing this kind of activity yes, with sir. bands, twirling and whatever, <laughs> practically all of your life. Is that what you said? Majority of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I think you started uh, your band career in a real sense at four years old, yes, dealing sir. with music. And, 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 mm -hmm. and so the two of you would advise those individuals who might aspire toward uh, becoming involved in music, athletics, and et cetera, to think in terms of the band. And so you're also telling me the band is more than just a band. Yes, That's sir. Right. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we are a family. Mm -hmm. We spend a lot of time together. Um, I commend the students because not only do we practice after school, most nights we don't get out of practice until 7 p.m. Very good. And of course, let's take this final commercial break, and we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break.
Thank you and welcome back to the final segment of the show for today. We're talking to Mr. Ayers and Ms. Wilcox uh, from Pearl Cone Entertainment Magnet High School Marching Band. And they're giving us some information that will wrap up, uh, Mr. Ayers, in terms of uh, some of your experiences with the band and some of the, uh, your plans and some of the things that you're planning on doing and et cetera. And, and Ms. Wilcox will wrap us up during the last eight minutes. Okay. Yes, um, so we mentioned earlier about the band's expectations as far as the education is concerned. But band is also very fun. It's an outlet for the kids. Mm -hmm. um, we've created a family within the band program. Mm -hmm. We spend maybe 80% of the students' time is spent with the band program. Mm -hmm. um, so the parents, they look to us as you know, another part of their life. Um, and I'm thankful for my parents. We have an, an amazing Boosters Association. Mm -hmm which is for parents, they provide meals for the band, they help with transportation, they provide materials for the band, and the, apparently the band program cannot work without them. So I want to thank our band booster parents for being so selfless in what they do. Um, also, just last year we had an, an, a phenomenal performance at the Skirmerhorn Symphony Center, which is a big deal. Anyone from Nashville knows the Skirmerhorn Symphony Center is the premier um, center for the Nashville Symphony. We partnered with the Frisk Museum, and we brought in Nick Cave, who's an African-American um, visual artist. Mm -hmm. And he performed with us his one of his pieces, um, Nick Cave, which was featuring Nashville. Mm -hmm. And it pretty much brought the Nashville community together, and it, uh, it provided a national stage mm -hmm. for the Pearl Cone Marching Band to perform mm -hmm. on. Um, that was an, a major accomplishment for not only myself, but for the band, because this performance also won nomination for a national Emmy. Um, we are still currently on the road to receiving the Emmy, but we've been nominated for an Emmy, and I think that's a lot to say about this, what the students are doing at mm -hmm. Pearl Cone as far as the band performance uh, program is concerned. Mm -hmm. um, also, the name Pearl Cone Entertainment Magnet High School, um, the Entertainment Magnet School, we are the only school in the country with the name Entertainment Magnet. We are a Grammy Award winning school. We are an Emmy Award winning school. So our students have opportunities that no other student in this country has as far as the music industry is concerned. Very good. Ms. Wilcox. Yes, as he stated, you know, these students, they have a great opportunity. This is something that can go on their resume um, for jobs or for school. You know, it looks really good. It's just good. It's a good, um, all in our um, showcase for them. Mm -hmm. And it gives all of you uh, something to work with in terms of the band itself and uh, individuals outside of the band and et cetera. Uh, the band has not only a, a, a real tradition, but the band is, is, is perhaps one of the most important drivers in terms of bringing people out around to uh, Pearl Cone. And that, certainly the athletic program is mm -hmm. important, but the band is, is a central part of that program, is it not? It is very an essential part of the program. Um, our community is amazing. They support us 100%. Mm -hmm. We practice in the neighborhood. Our school is surrounded by um, homes. And so when, every time we practice, we can expect for our community to come out and support us and cheer us on to get us across that final stretch. Also, I would like to um, give acknowledgement to the administration. Mrs. Mary M. Harrington is our executive principal and she is a number one supporter of the band. Mm -hmm. I believe because of her background in music as well, but we cannot function without our principal. Um, she supports us 100%. So Ms. Harrington is the principal there at Pearl, uh, and, and she plays an important part in terms of helping to bring the band activities together. Is that what we're saying? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. um, from anything from encouraging our students to do well in their classes, mm -hmm. encouraging our students to do well in the band, mm -hmm. and also she she believes that the band should be the face of the school, and so she supports us in any endeavor, endeavor that we have, um, all the way to funding, mm -hmm. and provide, make sure that the band has everything that it needs mm -hmm. to succeed. Mm -hmm. And Ms. Wilcox, uh, 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 the last, over the last few minutes, let's talk about uh, some of your young ladies, as well as the men who might be a, a part of that uh, twirling activity. How does that work with the band? How did well, you make that a part of the band? Actually, this year we don't really actually have any baton twirlers. Mm -hmm. We have dancers. We have a few ladies that have uh, twirled in the past, but we just haven't really incorporated the baton twirling yet. Mm -hmm. um, but 
they practice they practice 24 7 they practice so much that even the ladies even video each other when they go home mm -hmm. uh, for the ladies who maybe didn't make practice or you know just couldn't be there at the time due to another appointment they video their practices and send it to each each other so they're very dedicated to what they're doing um, that's something that we push and strive for them to be dedicated as, um, as well so they practice really hard so they can put on a great show for everyone now uh, mr. Ayers uh, looking at uh, some of the things that the band might stand <coughs> excuse me might stand in need of you know I know that you've got support from the community and et cetera. But what are some of the financial needs, uh, instruments and those kind of things? Because I know I've had an opportunity to see other bands uh, around uh, Nashville and, 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 and somehow your instruments don't seem to match out in terms of being uh, the quality new mm -hmm. in a real sense. When are you able to uh, receive new instruments and et cetera. Do you have any need for new instruments or whatever? Yes, sir. Um, what I would like to mention is that we are blessed to have um, support from the CMA, Country Music Association Foundation, and they are partnership with Metro uh, Public Schools, and they provide instruments for our students. Um, the needs that we do have are, I would love to take this band beyond where we've been. We've been a lot of places, but we tend to stay in the southern borders. Um, before school started, we traveled to Kentucky. We've gone to Miss, um, Memphis. We've gone to other surrounding cities. But I'd love to get the band to travel the country. Um, in my band program growing up, we traveled the world. So it takes a lot of funding just for us to travel to an away football game can range from 800 to 1200 dollars so it does take a lot of funds to um, move the band to feed the band and support the band so my dream and my vision is to see the band travel more um, there's no amount of funds that would fulfill that need because we there's so much that we want to do and there's so much that these kids deserve but um, we are thankful for what we do have and of course, we can always use more. And use more. Yeah. And Ms. Wilcox, you would probably say the same I thing. I would agree 100%, because a lot of times these students, this is the only exposure that they may have or they may get. So therefore, you know, we want to make it memorable. We want to make sure that if we can help in any way that they get the exposure that they're desiring. And so the band season is not over yet, yeah. that you've got a, another uh, activity that you want to be involved in dealing with uh, the, the athletic program or whatever. How, how does that work out? Yes, sir. So the band season is nowhere near over. In fact, the band season is never over. These mm -hmm. students, they dedicate their summers. We get out of school at the end of May. Mm -hmm. We begin band camp the beginning of July. So a, mm -hmm. a traditional student would have an entire summer at the end of May through August. Mm -hmm. Band students, they start in July. Um, and even during winter break, they're asked to come back early. During fall break, they're asked to perform. They're asked to practice. During spring break, they're asked to perform and practice as well. So the band students, they never really have a break. The band season never ends. So if there was some way that we could acknowledge what these students do, I would, I would like to see that do a scholarship. A scholarship mm -hmm. awarded to the band seniors, you know, to also give initiative for them continuing their education post high school. Mm -hmm. and, and, and of course, I think that that would certainly be possible in terms of creating a band scholar. You don't have a band scholarship to uh, give to students who might want to go beyond Pearl Cone? So we do encourage our students to apply for college and audition for scholarship, but sometimes that scholarship that the university offers is not enough. Mm -hmm. And so we would like to be able to uh, provide funds for our senior graduating seniors to you know pay for books even if it's as little as a five hundred dollar scholarship mm -hmm. for each student mm -hmm. that would be the ultimate goal very good mm -hmm. let me uh, thank the two of you during the last half minute we have here for coming by and giving us that excellent information and I'm sure that uh, most of our audience know about the Pearl mm -hmm. Cone uh, entertainment magnet school marching band <laughs> But of course, this will only reinforce what they do know. And we uh, encourage you to uh, tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and.